I'm also curious see like when did you start to get to the next level in terms of like getting recognition getting photos published like was it through relationships just constant applying like sending photos away like how yeah did, actually, that's there? a good call yeah um well first and foremost if no one knows this i'm from ontario i'm an east coaster born and raised um so i just was like you know skateboarding with all my homies out there shooting getting into photography and uh a couple of the guys who i started skateboarding with in like my later teens um they knew a couple guys at SBC at the time and just like being around those guys they kind of like help me out with uh just contacts you know you're like shooting and they start to realize like you're getting better at it and like you started to have a better eye for what makes a good skate photo and then that's kind of like how it grew it just like knowing people who they're not necessarily like in the industry but they are they know the right people and yeah boom like you just you, you just start some meeting people, people. And yeah um shouts out to brian shannon he's from oakville originally he lives in montreal now and uh, or Burlington maybe he's from actually but he helped, he hooked me up with like Andrew Norton he was the oh, yeah. old photo editor at SBC when oh, it was in sick. Toronto sick and uh, yeah he was like the guy who kind of like gave me Andrew's number and passed my contacts on and that's so sick kind of helped me out with getting that door open you know yeah so no shit I did not know that like what was your first your grandfather didn't your grandfather didn't yeah, yeah. <laughs> the homie helped me out so shout out to him yeah um, sick what were you saying again what was your first photo published and in what magazine Ooh, so it was SBC. Question. And uh, it was of my good buddy from back home, Ethan Kilgore. Oh, Ethan you, you, is a G. You, yeah, you've probably Ethan is of, a G. Yeah, you've probably heard of Ethan or seen footage yeah. of him. Yeah. Um, that guy's awesome. It's actually kind of crazy. Like the first photo I ever had published in a skateboarding magazine, it was like a photographer's checkout, and like what? Right? Like I, I it was just like it kind of blew my mind that they would like gonna offer that to me because like I was just so new to like shooting skateboarding no and like shit. having photos out there. That's crazy. Um, but I don't know. Obviously, they saw something in me at the time, and mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't a it wasn't a photo issue. It was yeah. It was, sorry, it was a the photo annual. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember SBC used to do photo annuals yeah, once a year, and yeah. like it was just like insane photography. Um, and I guess they were just doing like this new like photo checkout for up and coming photographers, and they were stoked on a photo I sent them, and they saw something, and that was it. That's yeah. Sick. They, they, they were stoked. How did that make you feel to get in? The like your first photo in the photo annual because that's like so surreal that's another level above even just getting a photo published the photo so annual, true like, totally and like yeah. that that's what i mean like that being like the first thing i ever had published it was like it was like a photo of me too like it was like a picture of me and then like the skate photo and like a little bio with me and it was just like i it was just like the first time i'd ever had to like talk about like again talk about myself yeah. in like a manner that like I'm supposed to portray myself in some what way. What did you have you to say? I mean? it's Yo, just like, um, it was like little questions, just like, Sam. what was your first skateboarding magazine? Um, oh, yeah. Like, Drum. favorite skate photo, like, Stats. age, like, favorite. Dream sponsor. Yeah, like, favorite <laughs> camera setup, like, just little things like that. But yeah. definitely, like, a crazy feeling, Still obviously, to, like, sick. get that first picture published. Like, you never really know what's possible until it's, like, put in front of you mm -hmm. like that. So that's definitely an insane feeling. And I still get the same feeling when, like, a new photo comes out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like a man. There was like, one magazine recently. I was like, Sam, 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 like, Sam again? I was just like, what the hell is going on? Man, like, my it, friends shred, man. Yeah, I'm you're, just there pointing the photo. Yeah, like, my yeah. friends kill it at That's skating, right? So, well, you, you go out a lot, man. You, you put in the work, too. You go get the photos, too. You know, you, you make sure that you the people that want to get photos dreams, get man, photos. You know, yeah, follow yeah. your passion. Yeah, and it's so true. It does work. Yep. Yeah. This okay, guy's on that in. topic. I love that topic. I think all of my friends know that that's like that's our thing. Get, like, what keeps me going? Yeah. What was your favorite failure? What was the time you fucked up that actually worked out to be like the best thing? Like, are you talking about like shooting anything. Like, while shooting? No, anything. It doesn't have to be just failure, photography. Right? Like this. Yeah. Favorite. If you think um, about it. It'll be one. Can sure. I answer? Yeah, Joe, you go first. I, want I mean, to this is excited. maybe not my favorite. The first one that came to mind is getting fired from New World Electrical. Like it was devastating at the time because I was like I worked really hard and like it just it didn't work out anyways but it was just like I was devastated but then it was just like it like turned me around like you know what I mean it kind of gave me a full new light and like changed I, your life yeah just like just for like you know how those things happen you're just like well what wait a second I don't really care that much you know what I mean it's just a job and like getting fired is kind of sweet like if you haven't got fired before like it's kind of sick like it's not like you're not proud of it but you're like well at least a 
got fired. I know what that's like. You know, like I know. Like, so yeah. What what like door did that open up? Like getting fired? Like to just skating more? Yeah. Or, no, or I was just like, well, fuck this. Why do I even care? I was like, why well, don't even give a shit about the electrical industry? Like. Obviously, like, it's my job. I'm an electrician. I like to work electrical. It's good money, that kind of thing. But I don't know. Like, it's not what I want. It's not like I don't see myself always just doing that, you know. I'm not like your atypical construction electrician, electrical yeah. worker. So anyways, I was just at that point in time, I was like, I was like, I don't care that much. I'm going to go skate. I went to Houston on a skate trip. I finished um, my support group part. That what was that what we called the first video with support group? Just support group. Yeah, and then we turned it into the yeah. Um and anyway, so Good video. I, I finished that and then I came back and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna look for like a temporary job, like just doing data cabling, which is just like a really um moderately easy version of electrical. You just pull data wires from A to B, boom, 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 put a little thingy on the end of it. That's basically it. That's been a nutshell. So Anyways, I did that. I got a temporary job doing that, and the temporary job ended up turning into like a full time job. So it was just sick. It was just a sick change of pace, and it just like kind of got me like away. Like I just didn't care as much, you know. It just flipped the switch for me. Like before that, I gave a fucking fuck. Like you know, like I cared about. Like I was like I just tried super hard, and then like, yeah. and then after that, I was kind of like, I was just like whatever. I don't even have to try that hard. Like obviously, I'm gonna work hard at work. You know, I'm not like a lazy guy, but like I just don't care that much anymore. And, and, and when you go into work with an attitude like that, I feel like it's, it, it's easier. Like, you know, you just, you don't get stressed out that yeah, much, you know, totally. you don't, you don't get like, you don't get worked up no you leave it at work. Yeah, exactly. And job, like, like, you have to work so much, you know, 40 hours a week that I mean, you don't have to, but like, that's kind of the atypical thing to do. Yeah. And like, and in Vancouver, you know, you need that money to, you know, pay that rent. It's not cheap here. And like, you know, food's not cheap here. So, you know, like, it's just like, you kind of need to. So anyways. It just kind of kind of changed me though, because I just like I, not that I really gave like, I just cared about work a lot. I cared about when I was yeah. being an electrician, I cared about it, and it just kind of made me not care about it. You know, I was like, whatever, fuck it. Like, That's fair. Yeah, that yeah. Led you to where you are now. Yeah, and dude, I still work electrical, and I still like Different work pace, really though. hard, and like, and I still like, you know, like. I'm not uh, always uh, in charge, but like when they want me to be, I am. And like, I just, when I am, I just like, I just don't care about it as much. I get it done as best I can. And then like, even if my boss is a little bit pissed at me for something, I'm just like, dude, get over it. Like it's you, like, get over it. Like you're going to get over this. Like yeah. you will. I'm a good worker. Like you, you know, it. you're just pissed right now because of some other fucking thing in your life. Like just get over it. Like I just Fair. don't, you know, that's just kind of like, so it wasn't anything like crazy, but like that just first thing that came to my mind. But anyways, did you, did you think of anything or? Well, I don't really, I don't want to look at it like that things is like, like you said, a failure, right? Yeah. I don't want to look at it as like a failure. That's what but, I mean. It was like um, getting well, fired I, wasn't I a, a getting, favorite failure. Too. Yeah. Like you recognize. Yeah. Like a turning yeah. point almost. If you take it as a failure yeah. or it's like yeah. a lesson. Getting fa yeah. fired to me wasn't a failure. It was just kind of an experience. Like I was like, oh, well, yeah. that's what getting fired is. Like, you know, well, there you go. I, I probably messed up, you know, I messed up and whatever. That's I, what it is. Yeah. I mean, to th I think just like if anyone doesn't know this, I went to to college for two years. For, I didn't know that actually. For, like, it was like a it was like a photography that slash like business kind of program. Oh, crazy! So I did that, but I think this whole like turning point failure. I want to call it failure again, but um, just like not getting a job right out of school. I think that was like a huge thing for me. Just trying to like pursue the whole skateboarding thing because like that's all I wanted to do. I had like my like while I was in school, that was like when I had that first photo published, and. Uh, I just like I just that's all I want to do after that one. Photo, you were just you know like I mean? you're just you were, so the driven. The fire was lit. Yeah, you're yeah. just so driven at that point that like you you have that like feeling inside you after you get that picture published and you're just like holy fuck I want I want this to happen more. Yeah. So I just think like not just like going back to like so getting some like shitty job and just like trying to like work my way back into something. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think just like taking those couple years to just like try to like find like what I want to do, which was yeah. obviously shoot skateboarding. Because yeah, like shoot. I could have like, like you know like anyone. Who shoots photos knows like they could be shooting anything to try yeah there's like wedding yeah. photographers whatever but like i didn't want to like do that that wasn't exciting to me so i wanted to try to like really like focus on like skateboarding and trying to make that a thing because once you like realize it's a possibility yeah you go for it you know so like i kind of yeah. just went for it and uh yeah just like having the support from my parents to just 
live at home and <laughs> just try to make it happen. Like that That's was true. like a big thing for me. Um, was it? Because you know, some parents, they would like look at you like, get a fucking job. Yeah, exactly. But, like, was it like when you were in college and you decided, you dropped out, you say? No, I didn't drop out. You, you finished. It was, only, it was only a two year two year diploma program. Program, so, so you finished. There finished, you go. graduated, yeah. did that all. Yeah. And then I was just like, well, I can either like, you know, like, assist a photographer like yeah grow like that i can shoot like, some models if i want to or, get into or like you know, yeah it could be anything but yeah. it was just like i graduated and i was like hey i can like do something i'm not like super stoked on or i can like struggle a bit try to like see if i can make this work and I you know see. it slowly worked out that's awesome and it worked and it kind of worked the fuck out you know what yeah, i mean it's like, been it's, great it's been I mean, great and like, that was that was like like i said i was like an east coaster at the time and like yeah. it was going well there and then you moved out. I west. just moved out here, and it's been even better since I moved out here. Yeah, that was just that was my years, next so. question. Was going to be like, so is in comparison, like when you, since you moved out west, obviously things started to perpetuate like a bit, like started to gain motion, and you started to get more photos published, or were you getting you were getting a decent amount of photos published before though? Weren't yeah, you? I was. It, you know what it was is like I was like I said I was still like living at home at the time, I and see. I wasn't like skating all that much like in my hometown with people. Right. I was always having to like commute. Like outside, I'm I live I'm, li- I'm from Hamilton and like that's like just outside of Toronto. So right. like you got big city we're out from, this way. We're from J- where Jeff Matheson's from. Yeah, well we're right. from yeah same hometown. Yeah, He's my roommate by the way. I, I yeah, with him, that's so pretty sick. cool. Jeff um, is awesome. But yeah, I was like I was just doing so much like commuting to like go skate, and it was just like it was just too much for me to like have to like it was like a little too much effort to like drive an hour to go to Toronto right. or drive an hour to go see my homies in London, Ontario right. to go skate with them, and like it just got to a point where like I just needed to be somewhere like. In the Central, like in like a yeah. city where like there's tons of skateboarders and I can like really like focus on what I'm trying to do, and uh, Vancouver just seemed great for that, and I knew I knew some people out here, so I just had to make the move and came into yeah, our like, lives. It was no winter, no and and then like less winter. of a winter. Yeah, well, that winter, too. but not really yeah, winter. Yeah, yeah not real yeah, winter. Not skateboarding. Not real winter in Canada. Really, yeah, not skateboarding. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely skate more in Vancouver than I ever did yeah. back home. So yeah, that's it, true. It